podcast, today I'm going to teach you how to become an advanced origami designer. So before I start this video, please check out the video right here because you need to be a origami designer before you become a more advanced origami designer. So to become an advanced origami designer, number one, you must have a lot of experience in folding origami, like folding a heart with wings is slightly complex, or rows or a center with color change. Number two, you will need to learn to solve crease patterns. You can learn this by unfolding a origami model, like you unfold a traditional origami crane and you refold them, so you can try to understand how the crease work. Another way is asking people how they solve crease pattern and you try and fold the model and get some knowledge or experience from it. In three, you must have a lot of paper to test fold your origami models. Like this, I have a pack of origami papers. This is Kami paper. And number four, you must learn origami design technique like color change, box feeding, or circle packing technique. Number five, you will need to learn to shape origami. Shaping origami is a origami skill that you must learn. And to learn to shape it, you can form models like origami beetles or some origami models that make from base, especially box pleated model. And you must have tools like clips and tweezers for shaping origami. After you have these five conditions, you are just one more step to become an advanced origami designer. Just like the previous video, you have five steps to design an origami model. First, you must have a image or an idea of what you want to design. For this video, we are going to design a Hercules beetle. Second, you have to determine what technique you want to use to design your organic model. So I'll be using box bleeding technique for the Hercules beetle. Then you might have to make your very first attempt of your origami design. The first step is to improve your design, make it look nicer, clean and needful. Last but not least, a final design of your model. And this is how you'll be able to become an advanced Ogami designer. If you think this video is helpful, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and remember to click subscribe because I'm going to make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.